stand up for us? <laughs> Who the f stands up for us? And us. I mean women, real women, biological women, women who were born with all the parts that you guys wish that you were. Um, when does the delusion stop? What is the difference between um, you and someone who has been um, diagnosed to be mentally insane? What's the, the only difference is you don't have a straight jacket on. Stop talking. Out <laughs> Wake up. How are you projecting your anger? on real women because we are the gatekeepers. We are the gatekeepers for periods. We're the only one that can bleed, honey. We're the only ones that can give birth. We make y'all, y'all come from us. I just saw a really ignorant video from Jess Hilarious uh, saying who's gonna stand up for us because she was just so offended that a trans woman would say that menstruation is not exclusively women. Obviously, obviously women are not the only ones who experience menstruation because trans men do too. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? This ignorance has to stop. Like, enough is enough. This whole idea that trans people are in some way endangering your womanhood. Why do you seem to think that we are nothing more but menstruation in your biological parts? If another person, if a trans person talks about menstruation or the experiences or the fact that they are included in this, you're like, ah, who's gonna, who's gonna defend us? If you don't shut your stupid Jess Hilarious is hilarious. I'll give her that. I think she is a talented comedian, but shut the f This is not the first time she's been culturally ignorant. Stay out of politics. Shut the f up, Jess. I want to start off by asking you all a question. What is the number one thing that every woman and every trans woman was born with that starts with a V? I'm going to ask you again. What is the number one thing that every woman and every trans woman was born with that starts with a V. Deeper Discussion Card Game is meant to give you and other players deep understanding of how we all deal with relationship, when or if things get serious. One of the biggest reasons why people break up is because of underlying family issues. This game can be played with either two people or an entire group, so have fun. Question number one, what is the one thing you wanted but didn't receive when you were young? Name a time when money was the main factor why a relationship went bad. Deeper Discussions Dating Edition. Again, these cards are good for vetting a potential boyfriend, Candidate. a potential girlfriend, a potential husband, a potential wife. It'll even tell you what's wrong with your sneaky link. If you and your sneaky link need to have a conversation, these are the cards. I'm sure these cards are so soft and silky, by the way. Like, like they ain't gonna like get really wore out. Durable. Durable. A dating card game for introverts who have a hard time asking the much needed compatibility questions. Deeper Discussions, the card game. The answer is a voice. See, the problem I have with this back and forth with Just Hilarious and this other woman isn't really about trans women and natural born women. It's about Just Hilarious and any other woman that thinks the same way as Just Hilarious does not having a voice. Isn't that particular thing the biggest problem that women have with men? Y'all don't feel heard? Y'all feel dismissed? Your feelings or your opinion doesn't matter? Your feelings are literally invalidated? What you feel about particular things are always dismissed? Nobody cares? That's what's going on right here. Why is it that when a woman says something about trans women, whether it's right or wrong, because that's not the point. Why is it always dismissed? Like a person can't have an opinion about something. Whether Jess Hilarious is right, whether the other woman is right, I ain't got nothing to do with that because I'm not in that fight. I'm staying out of women's business when it comes to that. But when it comes to silencing a black woman who has an opinion about something, that's when I got to jump in. Every last one of us, male or female or trans, has the right to have an opinion. And every time a man has an opinion about a woman or a woman has an opinion about a trans woman is an issue. Do you see that? I'm going to say that again. Every time a man has a problem with women, it's an issue. Ah, oh, he's a narcissist. Ah, oh, he hates women, right? Now, when a woman has a problem with what trans women are saying or doing, she's villainized the same way. Ah, oh, you're transphobic. You hate this. You hate that. Why does somebody always have to hate somebody to have an opinion about somebody that other people disagree with? What is wrong with y'all? If I was to come on here and say that the majority of black women, which is true, are obese and the majority of black women aren't going to the gym and are not only overeating, but over drinking when it comes to alcohol and mimosas and, and whatever else y'all be drinking. 
y'all would turn around and say, you hate women, even though it's an actual fact, even though it's an actual issue that is hurting or affecting not only black women, but black men, because we experience black women when we date you. I'm automatically a terrible person and I hate my mama or something stupid like that, right? Y'all are doing the same thing to just hilarious. How she feels is valid. Why do y'all run around invalidating other women's feelings? You are a woman. You don't realize how hurtful that is for a woman to do that to another woman? I say this all the time. The biggest enemy to black women isn't black men, isn't white men, isn't any other race. It's other black women. Black women are the main ones that go in on other black women when a black woman has an opinion that isn't everybody else's opinion. Why is it that everybody has to think exactly the same? We aren't human. We can't think differently. Everybody has to think the exact same way for us to be human. I recently did a video about how natural hair needs to come back in style instead of all the wigs and lace fronts, right? In the comments, it was like five different women who literally shared their story about how women who wear wigs bully and make the women who don't wear wigs feel like they're not pretty. And when I read the threads, it was like 50 other women that felt the same way. Women bullying other women because either they lived differently or felt differently. And when it comes to the trans community, don't y'all have the exact same issue? You want to live differently than other people and you feel bullied by other people because you want to live this life. But for people to turn around and say, shut up and don't talk about politics, this ain't politics. Women actually feel like just hilarious. Thousands of women do, but they can't say anything because you'll do the same thing that you're doing to just hilarious to them. And I don't know where this comes from because each one of you, each one of us has felt bullied at some point for thinking or doing something differently than the majority of the other people. So why is this an issue when just hilarious comes out and says what she feels and next thing you know, y'all demonize her for feeling a certain kind of way. I can be in the same room with an atheist, a racist, or a whatever, and as long as they respect my boundaries just like anybody else, I'm cool with that. But everybody deserves to have a voice on social media. That's what social media is. It gives everybody an opportunity to have a voice. And if you can't turn around and say how you feel about another group of people, and it's not disrespectful, what are we doing? Now, Jess Hilarious said something in a disrespectful tone, in a disrespectful way, that's one thing. For Jess Hilarious to simply share her opinion about what's going on in her life, in her mind, versus what's going on out in the world, and y'all won't allow her to say that, and y'all gonna invalidate how she feels, them dudes with the, on their heads, can walk down the street in peace and do whatever they wanna do, as long as it's peaceful, nobody's gonna say nothing, right? We don't like that, but guess what? They have the right to feel or think however they wanna feel. And I just went way left with my example. But if this way out example can be true, why can't this example of Jess Hilarious feeling invalidated by not only her opinion, but her existence as a natural born woman, why is that a problem? Now did what she say make a trans woman feel invalidated by their existence? Well, say that. Have a conversation about that. Hey, you saying this is essentially invalidating this person's existence. That's a conversation. That isn't divisive. That actually bring people together because it's a conversation. But if I hear one more woman come forward and totally disrespect Jess Hilarious, you are part of the problem. Allow people to think how they want to think. And out of everybody on social media, I'm probably the only man that's going to jump up and stand next to Jess Hilarious, not because of her beliefs, but because she has the right to have a voice about her beliefs. Her beliefs are her beliefs. I ain't got nothing to do with that because that's women's business. I'm not a woman and I don't know what all of that feels like to feel invalidated by another person because of them being a trans person. I don't know. But what I do know is she has the right to her opinion and she has the right to not get attacked by her personal opinion. We have to do a better job by understanding each other. Not just this side, this side too. Trans women 
and women have an opinion, have feelings, have the right to be heard. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Do you think Jess Hilarious was wrong? And if you think she's wrong, what do you think she said that was wrong? Do you think the other woman was wrong? Do you think the trans community is wrong? Do you think women are wrong? What do you think about all this? Let's talk about it.